the Weather Center, where sometimes they're right and sometimes they're wrong. But everyone's interested in the forecasts. Without our weather, we'd be lacking in a major conversation topic. For instance, think of all those marvelous snow stories we'd miss. How long it took to get to the office, how the car got stuck, etc., etc. And of course, the poor old weatherman gets the blame if they're wrong. We tend to forget when they're right. From the masses of information coming in from all over the world, it's a complex job to forecast accurately what the weather will do in one specific place. They've even got computers to do some of the figuring out. But our often unpredictable climate so often proves unpredictable. And there's a chance that leaving those seasickness pills at home was a mistake. There's always the consoling thought that while the briny behaves badly, there are other ships whose job it is to stay out in all weathers and report back on conditions at sea. This information is processed and helps in preparing new weather charts. Then again, there's the chance that the promised prolonged sunny spell may never materialize. But undeterred, the weather worker still searches for that lost sunshine. It's just got to be somewhere. And sure enough, there it is a thousand miles away. Back to the weather chart. In many ways, it's like filling in the football pool. Permutations galore. And just as British as the pools is a genuine cats and dogs downpour. Up on the weather centre roof, there's rarely a shortage of rainfall measurements. But we decided to give the Met men a rest and call in our own expert to give his long-range forecast. Professor Reindorf is considered a leading weather authority. Professor, as a weather expert, what can we hope for the future? Well, according to my calculations, we're in for a long, dry spell. 